I'm Kate Rich and I'm a postpartum and infant care certified doula and I am today going to be talking about the laid back or biological nurturing position for breastfeeding. Um, so this position is more of a positioning of your body than it is a positioning of your baby's body. Um, so I uh, have shared or I'm going to be sharing some different holds of the baby over the next couple weeks like the cradle hold, cross cradle hold, football hold, um, those are all more talking about the positioning of the baby. Uh, reclined or biological nurturing position is positioning of your body in relationship to the baby. And this uh, uh, particular position can be really uh, beneficial in those first uh, few weeks and days uh, when you are you and your baby are kind of still trying to figure things out. This position will help uh, allow gravity to help you help your baby get into the best possible position for nursing. Um, so I'm going to be showing you um, this position using the cross cradle hold, which is, again is my arm that's supporting the baby is the opposite arm from the breast that the baby's going to be nursing on. So this is the breast the opposite arm is holding the baby um, but in this position instead of you know sitting upright which we kind of all think of when nursing again if you've seen pictures of breastfeeding usually you're thinking of somebody sitting upright you know in a chair or um, on a couch or someplace um, and in a 90 degree angle um, so actually uh, this can uh, it makes gravity kind of work against you that you know the baby is kind of being held by gravity you're having to use a lot of your arms to keep the baby up here up at your breast level to nurse um, even with a lot of pillows there's that tendency to kind of uh, relax down into the pillows forward um, so in in the laid back breastfeeding position which is what will get you in uh, if you are delivering at a hospital and it's super easy at the hospital because they have those you know the bed that can recline up and down, um, we're gonna get it at about a 45 degree angle. And if you're not at the hospital, if you're in your own bed or if you're on a couch or someplace else, um, then we're gonna get a bunch of pillows and um, use those to support back behind your back so that you have nice and support. I always tell moms, if you're not comfortable, then we need to find it, uh, we, we need to fix that first. You need to be comfortable, it's important. You don't have to power through, um, uh, power through breastfeeding uncomfortably. Um, so we're gonna just, you know, put a little pillow back here for support so that I can lean way back and get into that 45 degree angle. Um, so you're gonna have the baby, you know, right here at your chest, especially if this is, you know, right, right at the delivery, right after you're the baby's coming right up to your chest. Um, and once they're ready to, to start nursing, once they show those cues or signs of readiness, or if you're at home and you've already had your baby a few days ago and you know, you're know you still kind of working on breastfeeding, um, you, you have the baby here starting on your chest. And then we're gonna just turn the baby um, kind of at an angle, so a diagonal angle. If you wanna avoid your abdomen, uh, then you can even turn your baby more if you need to, but usually, you know, right here is comfortable where their legs kind of tuck in under your other breast. Um, we're going to do that cross cradle hold again where I have this arm down their back supporting um, and can get them nipple to nose. So in this position, gravity is helping to pull the baby and keep the baby um, right across your uh, chest. And there's actually um, some indication that uh, babies, they get a lot of, um, part of their, their own natural cues and instincts for breastfeeding are triggered by having their full body um, get that positive input from being fully up against your body. Um, it allows them, and even their feet, they kind of push off your, um, your stomach and kind of get themselves into a good position. This position is really good for the baby to get all of that positive um, neurological feedback from uh, being held securely against your body um, to help cue them in to do what they, they naturally have an instinct to do, which is to find the nipple and the breast and get into a good position, uh, open up their mouth nice and wide and, and uh, achieve a nice deep uh, latch that uh, hopefully long term will not be um, painful to you. Um, so we always tell moms if you not only if you are uncomfortable with your feeding position, but if breastfeeding is painful to you, um, then I would encourage you to reach out to someone because breastfeeding should not be painful. It's not something that is meant to be suffered through. Um, it's meant to be comfortable for both you and baby. So pain is not normal. And if you're struggling, then please um, reach out and we can help you get the help that you need.